Colin Crafty, good morning to you. Good morning, Keith. Thanks, Thanks for joining us uh, today. Sorry about uh, a slight line there issue, but uh, you, you're um, the editor indeed of uh, Ballinasloe mm-hmm. Life magazine. Uh, and again, it's it's been even right through before the COVID, but ch- during the COVID, it's kind of the, the lifeblood indeed uh, for the people in uh, Ballinasloe. Yeah, it was rather poignant <laughs> delivering our last edition in, in um, early February. Um, so many people hadn't seen people who hadn't been out and about and of course we're all interested in what is happening in our community every community is and uh, Banlas for Life has been a huge um, I suppose part of ensuring that a dialogue of connectivity exists between the different groups the different organisations sporting, cultural, political business uh, and just what our, 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 our people are doing and I suppose we're very fortunate that we have such a slew of local contributors PROs people in the different clubs and societies um, who contribute every eight weeks to making sure that we have content for it because obviously as you know in a busy radio station local news sometimes can be hard come by <laughs> there are slow weeks and COVID has been a difficult um, um, 12 months of publications because so many groups don't have their traditional typical monthly weekly activities our yeah. choirs our, our sports clubs we all know the reasons why but we've been very fortunate that we have some very very good uh, writers and very very good PROs who are looking back into a little of their archives and profiling different people who have been participating well, it, again, it's giving it's giving people content, so it is, um, Colm, uh, during a difficult time for people, like you can, it really is giving people the content and, and the, the, the local, uh, the, the local feel on things as well. Uh, let me just go back uh, to Seamus there as well. Seamus, how, how, how is Banlaslow doing? Banlaslow is doing very well, uh, really, at the end of the day and in very difficult times. Um, like I, I'm chairman of the development company here, which was formed 21 years ago, and the sole objective of the company at the time was job creation. But we, we've broadened our spectrum quite considerably since that time, and I suppose it comes under two spectrums: uh, maybe on the enterprise side of things and community side of things. Just on, on the enterprise side of things, the, the, the first initiative that the company had was to develop the old hospital building here, a 27,000 square foot uh, building, into office space, and. That has been tremendously successful. It's, it's full at the moment. Um, we have 26 enterprises in here, 180 full-time jobs. Wow. Uh, one company currently you know, started out with two, it's up to 11, and we haven't enough space to accommodate the growth at the moment. So that, that is an issue for us. We've helped create 500-plus jobs over the 20 years. And um, I suppose what we've looked to do is move on and create more space. We took an initiative several years ago to get planning permission on the IDA site here in town and we have planning permission there for a 15,000 square foot advanced technology unit. Now unfortunately since that time the Aptar building has become available as a 65,000 square foot building. That, that's available but that, that facilitates one type of business. The, the, newer, the newer issue is remote working and again Renata Kuhlman who works very strongly on this here in Ballinasloe uh, we've identified a huge requirement here in Ballinasloe and we've taken the initiative to purchase a building here on Society Street in, in the town, it comprises about 6,000 6, square feet over three floors. Uh, we have funded that through borrowing. The borrowing on the existing building is cleared. And thankfully, we have got funding of nearly half a million euro from the Just Transition Fund to renovate and develop that building. So the target is to, by this time next year, have 35 to 45 new jobs in that building and people working, living and spending their money in, in the centre of town. But, so but that, that's but that's, the enterprise that's, side of Yeah, things, but that's, you know? the, that's the organic way though and Colm, you're there with me because you're a long time now with yourself knocking around, Colm. But that's the organic way to 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 get people into employment, get them into the entrepreneur side of things get and get them back, get them into work and get them creating jobs. Yeah, and I suppose the magazine has been um, instrumental in assisting the community showing to those who might be thinking of returning to East Galway or South East Common or resettling or moving in or moving away from metropolitan areas or coming out of a London or coming out of a, of a US context and coming back to Ireland and showing them just the different attributes that a vibrant place has. I mean, the census will tell you we have 5,600 or 6,400, I can't remember now, of inhabitants, but our credit union has a membership base of nearly 24,000 accounts because we take in South Roscommon, we take in a larger rural area than just the urban, which the census returns for. So our natural hinterland is about 20,000 and the amount of clubs and societies, educational facilities, amenities, leisure facilities, cultural restaurants that we have is quite surprising and sometimes we forget that. Yeah. And in making a decision to relocate and to maybe work remotely from a town like Banlaslow, a, a magazine such as ours has proven to be a useful tool in 
that marketing and selling of that positive message. Yeah, yeah I mean, you, a, new, a new initiative that has grown out of that as well is, is the Pulse Club. And uh, that's made, yeah. made up of young people between the ages of 25 and 40 that have returned to town and had set up their own business, you know. And again, as we all know, something setting up a, a sole business, it, it can be a lonely place at times and help can be expensive. So this group have met on a regular basis and they share knowledge. Uh, like last year during COVID, I think we had 16 webinars online to help and support people. And prior to COVID, we had several events which we had attendances between 100 and 250 people in attendance. So it just shows there's a huge, vibrant community out there. And part of that group, actually, they, they brought several initiatives in last year. One of them was the Shop Ballon, the Slow.ie, and a voucher scheme, which went extremely successful. I, I met one of the business people in town actually coming in after Christmas, one of the retailers, and he had 1,500 in vouchers to, to cash in. And he said that generated €10,000 in sales for him, you know. So it, it's the new people coming into town that are making a big difference and a big help to us. And again, uh, through, the, through the development company, we, we have so many people involved in, in, in different things, you know. Yeah. I just may mention that the second strand of, of the, the company, it's about the community, you know. And within that, we have the town team headed up by Anise Killeen. She took over from Descent of Divity. That has done two benchmarking reports for us three and five years ago. We'll need to, we will do another one later on this year, early next year, when hopefully we expect to get back to normal. You know, that has brought several initiatives together. The most recent one, the Christmas lights campaign, there was 120,000 spent on new lights in the town. It gives people a lift over the Christmas. You know, they were out walking, uh, coming in. Uh, we have done the, the, the zombie walk has been hugely successful. That yeah. brings 2,500 people in over the Halloween weekend every year. We run the People of the Year Awards every second year. And, and again, Anita is putting a huge effort into making a sustainable energy, energy town. And she's got funding of 15,000 euro to do a feasibility study on this and that'll be a major part of our 10-year plan going forward as well. I, I think it's just important, where can people um, Seamus, get to, if somebody's listening to say in New York or London or Galway City today and they want to get in contact with the Banisloy Area Community Development Company what's the best way of doing so? Oh, the, on the, the Len Donnelly here in the Enterprise Centre, we, we have a good website developed over time, balanceloe.ie but uh, like the, this this whole venture is practically ran on a voluntary basis. The board is made up of, of volunteers, um, but Len, Len is the, the company manager and is here full-time in the Enterprise Centre, so they can contact Len at any time. Len, Len is at the hub of all, all, all these things that are going on, and she's done tremendous work over the last 10 years that she's been with the company. Okay, so if they go to balanceload.ie, then is that the best place to go? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. get details there? Um, uh, yeah, I can't, just the number off the top of my head, 09096. Four six five one six. Yeah, that's the number. Yeah, that's the it. Enterprise I was afraid that yeah. might be your home yeah. number. I didn't want to read that out. Is that oh nine oh nine six four six five one six? And sure, if it is your home number, Seamus, uh, you can divert them down to Len from there. Most people have my mobile number anyway. Yeah. I'm getting calls about bingo and everything else. So, so if I ring me about jobs too. Seamus, thanks. No, that's the Enterprise Centre. I kicked her out of the office here. She's out in the car listening at the moment. So zero nine zero nine six four six five one six. And um, finally, Colm, just to you, uh, if they want to send stuff to Balasso Life Magazine, what's the best way of doing that too as well? Balasso Life Reporter uh, at gmail.com and just our, our next edition is coming out next Friday that's Good Friday it's going to feature um, our first anniversary of the Shop Local Vouchers um, Ali Green our new Marketing and Communications uh, Director for our newest distillery out in Haskra has been yeah. profiled we have um, our German Professor Fergal Lennon who edited President Michael Lee Hagan's book from his university in Germany Nula O'Connor our local author has a new book coming out in April on um, Joyce's Muse, Nora Barnacle, and of course, with the town is still uh, revering or reveling in the Flooring Porter's wonderful win at Cheltenham. So we have a little profile on the syndicate. We have a decade look back in sport uh, with some upcoming GA developments. And we have, like a lot of villages and towns in Galway, we have a lot of Vintner families who have been closed now for longer than 12 months. And yeah. we have a little bit of a salute to our closed Vintner families and those in hospitality who can't reopen, as well as a big focus on our new society street development and, of course, our. 400,000 euro uh, town development and street facade uh, shopkeepers uh, projects that Galway County Council sanctioned some significant money for a couple of days ago. All right, Colin Croffy, editor of Ballinasloe Life Magazine, thank you, and Seamus Duffy, uh, chairman of the Ballinasloe Area Development uh, Company. If you want any further details, uh, just ring Len on 09096 They'd love to get your call right now. 